When most people think about paper, they think a sheet of white paper like this. But when scientists talk about papers, they think of something like this. This is one of mine, an article describing results done by my students. And they have some really catchy titles. And the title of this one, and we were quite proud of it, is Real-Time Product Switching Using Twin Catalyst System for the Hydrogenation of Furfural in Supercritical CO2. A paper is a description of your results, your discovery. You can have a short paper, which is called a communication, or a longer one, which is a full paper. And it's published in a journal. The journal is published in paper form and also on the internet. And there are a whole different variety of journals. This one was published in the journal Angewandte Chemie, means applied chemistry in German. And the most famous journal is Nature. People get really excited if you publish a paper in Nature. Get us on the university website, may even get into the national press. But then there are equally important results that are published in much less well-known journals. Here's one from Russia, another one from Hungary. But publishing papers is really important. The success of a chemist's career is determined by the quality and the number of papers that they publish. And they're needed so that other people can know what they've done. There's no point doing science if you don't publish the results.